The idea of a consensual, non-monogamous relationship is traditionally a taboo topic. It certainly is with Gail. Yeah. Now, yeah. now a new CBSN Originals documenta documentary is exploring exactly what that looks like. Consensual non-monogamy is considered any relationship arrangement in which the partners openly agree to have more than one sexual or romantic relationship. Research shows one in five single adults have tried consensual non-monogamy at some point. Brooklyn couple Alex and Bridget are in an open marriage. They live together, but both date other people. Alex discusses what it is like when his wife has a date planned at home with someone else. He calls it getting sexiled. Sexiling is when you look at the calendar, like, oh, tomorrow uh, so-and-so is coming over and Bridget is hosting, that means that I need to find something to do. I'll either work late or go see a movie or hang out with a friend or go to the bar. We've been together for eight years now and at least the way I feel that is there's so much unspoken like certainty between us. And this, I give credit to Alex. Alex is one of the most loyal people I've ever met. Like more than I could ever even hope to be. Alex is so loyal. Like if we do skip a date night or if he see somebody like three nights a week and we haven't had dinner together yet. Like, I know this sounds maybe crazy to some people, but it really doesn't bother me. Because I, I just know at the end of the day that Alex isn't going anywhere. I have not told my mom, I haven't told my stepfather, and I haven't told my stepmother. So really, uh, all my friends know, you know, non-family members know, but in terms of family, I'm still taking my time on that. Before this airs, I'm gonna pr tell them all. I guess that I just want them to know that I love them all very much. And it's just very um, it's scary for me to tell them how I really am. Because the last thing I want is for them to reject me. That feels, um, well, I think they, they probably know now. Adam Yamaguchi is the executive producer of CBSN Originals and joins us to discuss the new documentary. Adam, good morning. No, you guys are just bursting with... I questions. know. <laughs> or, or Adam, no. I couldn't even say good morning, but I go, Adam, you have to explain this to me because I don't understand and I don't like it. What are, Adam, what are some I, of the biggest misconceptions yes. about this? Well, I think one of the biggest misconceptions is that people assume that this is just about one big orgy. And, and, and the reality is that the people that we talk to say, look, this is far more than just about sex or just about casual sex. These are people who are actually committed. They've agreed that they will have multiple partners. And in some cases, we, in, in this doc, we met a quad. That's four people, two couples that are raising a set of children together. Together. But, you know, See, having a, a relationship is about depending on that person for, for things that you need. So I think of Alex there who's sexiled on certain nights. Well, what if that's the night that he really needs to have a conversation with his significant other about what's going on in his life? And they just give that up, I guess. Right. They get, well, they, I think they would also tell you that, well, that's partially why I have somebody else to go to. Um, he has a girlfriend. She has a boyfriend. So mm -hmm. if he is sexiled, well, he, he now has somebody. You know, this is the thing. I think whatever consenting adults want to do should be between consenting adults. I get that. But I think about the family structure, and I think about the children, and I just think those things should matter. So how do they navigate that? Yeah, what message does this send to your children? Sure. I mean, it's a tricky thing that, um, that many of these couples and, and quads and triads uh, grapple with. In fact, the, the quad that's raising the children together acknowledge that this is strange. Yes. This is very strange to tell their kids that mm -hmm. they are involved in a quad. Yeah. Um, the way they sort of look at it is, well, now you have four parental figures who can be instrumental in, in yeah. shaping you and molding you into adulthood. All right, that's looking at the positive. A lot of husbands and wives looking at each no. other on the couch right now, like, don't even ask. Yeah, don't, <laughs> don't even bring it up. Don't try this at home. Oh. Yes. All right, Adam Yamaguchi, thank you very much. And you can stream CBSN Originals. It's called Non-Monogamy. It's on right now at cbsnews.com slash open.